Well, there's a silent dog killer lurking in nearly every yard of South Florida, and you may not even know it's there. They are called buffalo toads or cane toads, and more than just being dangerous, they're deadly. Local 10's animal advocate J.C. Birch shows us how we can take action to protect our pets. Lambo. I can't get that picture out of my mind. Her, her foaming at the mouth, sitting on my lap, and then dying in my lap. I, and I, I, when I think about it, it just brings tears to my eyes. And I, can't, I just can't get rid of it. This was just the most harrowing experience. Good girl. Gail Webb lost her champion winning dachshund two years ago. She was pregnant with three puppies at the time. We've lived in Florida for almost 50 years, and we, we knew about the toads. We lived, we've lived all over. Um, we knew about them, but we never really thought much about the toads. Until they lost their beautiful girl named Lambo. In the blink of an eye, they couldn't even make it to the vet in time. It was awful. I mean, she just put her mouth to it. It was seconds. The Bufo toad, also known as the cane toad, is invasive and deadly. One toad's toxin can kill an elephant. It enters the bloodstream at warp speed. There is no anti-venom, and dogs can die in 15 to 20 minutes. During the rainy seasons, the toads will be found out by the lake here. Austin um, Began from Toad Busters was brought in to eradicate the life-threatening amphibians from Gale's property. The bufo toads carry a toxin that your dogs, if ingested, uh, don't have a very long time to get to the pet emergency before um, you know organ failure, extreme hallucinations, and seizures happen. It will secrete from the glands all around the body. Um, a dog doesn't even have to bite the toad. They can, they can touch the toad with their paw while the toxin is secreting and possibly lick their paw. There's already one in here. Like most invasive species, the toads were brought here by the pet trade and to remove beetles from sugarcane. Now we may have hundreds of thousands living among us, but we barely ever even see these nocturnal monsters. We are infested in certain areas. Uh, we've collected over 500 toads from a single golf course pond. From egg to tadpole to full grown toad, the toxin is so concentrated they're dangerous to everything from fish to humans and they have no real natural predators. South Florida is a fertile habitat and toads are very smart. They need a water source. They like our pools and decks. They like our exterior lighting. They love our fresh landscaping, mulch, um, soft and moist dirt. You see there's a big toad right there. So to keep the awful amphibians at bay, first there was a removal plan. So we called and they came out and they did their collection and it was frightening how many toads were here. 28 toads were found that night. And then it was time to toad-proof the property with heavy rocks instead of mulch, zero scaping in lieu of low-lying plants and shrubs. You're getting rid of like toad hiding spots, exactly. digging areas, right? Yes, exactly. Anywhere that they can conceal themselves during the day or nighttime. Much like you have a fence to keep your pets safely on your property, you can also put up deterrents like this mesh to keep the toads away from your property. Come on, ladies. Come on. She keeps her dogs Packer and Curly close to her at all times with Lambo's memory as the beacon for their safety. I hope we've done everything that we can to deter that from ever happening again. Um, and the neighbors are well aware. I mean, I tell the story to anybody who will listen. I'm JC Birch, your Local 10 Animal Advocate.